welcome. In this lecture, we're going to kind of we're going to talk about higher derivatives. There's a lot of this is just notation, but these are a real thing. Um, for example, this is just like taking the rate of change of the rate of change. So the rate of change of position is velocity. The rate of change of velocity is acceleration. So that's something you've heard of, okay? But this happens in other settings. Also, it also can tell you um, higher derivatives can tell you things about the shape of the graph of the function, um, which has meaning in it also. Okay, so what is, so this is kind of notationally, so what is the second derivative of a function f? I'm going to kind of introduce you to several kinds of notation at once here. So the second derivative of a function f. So we're going to get f, and then we're going to take the derivative twice. So one way to denote it is to put um, uh, two primes there. So this is going to equal, and it's going to look like the derivative of the derivative of, right, the derivative of f, right? So this is the, right, so we're kind of writing that out. This is the derivative of, derivative of the, and then we have here the first derivative, right, of f. So the first derivative of our function f. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're just taking the derivative with respect to x twice. Okay, so we are, what are we doing here, is we're taking the derivative, so taking the derivative, and then it's important to note that each time we're taking the derivative with respect to the same variable, so taking the derivative with respect to x twice. Okay, so the nth derivative of f, you might guess, is to take the derivative n times, so the nth derivative of f, For this, <laughs> you start out with f, and then you take the derivative of that, and then you keep on going, and then you take the derivative, keep on going, <laughs> take the derivative, right? So I'm taking the derivative with respect to x n times, right? So I'm taking the derivative with respect to x n times. So taking the derivative always with respect to x. So with respect to x, and we're going to do that n times, right? where this n is the same as that n, okay? So the nth derivative, so let's do a little bit more notation. So more notation. Okay, so suppose that we have so suppose that we have uh, y equals f of x. So y equals f of x. Okay, then the nth derivative, and maybe I will, I know I used red like there for something else, it's always a little bit dangerous, but I want to, um, maybe I want to use it here for something different. Okay, so the nth So the nth derivative is going to be written like, we're going to want to have, um, uh, so we have y, and then we in, up in parentheses up here we have that n, so that's one way to write it. Um, another way to write it is that we'd write, so we'd write f here, and then we would put, um, so we put n here, 
and then I guess X here. Another way to write it, which is a little bit funny, but it's what we do. Um, so we put D, and then we put D, X, and then we put, this is one of the funny parts. We put the N there and here. I don't exactly know why that is, but that's just how it goes. And then we put a Y there. Okay. And then, so, let's look at an example. So, example... is suppose that we have, so suppose that, so we have y equals f of x is going to equal 2x cubed. Okay. Then our first derivative, so our first derivative, or our f prime of x, going to equal the derivative with respect to x of f. So that's going to equal the derivative with respect to x of that function, 2x cubed. And then this is going to equal, and I'm going to write this in red for a reason. Um, so this is 6x squared. So that's my first derivative. And I'm doing this so that we can kind of keep track. Okay, so in the next stage, I'm going to take the second derivative with respect to x. Right. So what I'm doing here is actually I'm going to take the derivative of, so this is equal to, I'm taking the derivative with respect to x of, and then I need to do f prime of x, so f prime, right? And here's my f prime, so that's what I'm going to put inside. So the derivative with respect to x, uh, this is kind of why I gave that a color. So this is 6x squared. Uh, and then you can compute that out, and you'll get 12x. And then we're going to do that in orange just to keep track of what we're doing. Right. So now if I wanted to take the third derivative, I'm going to take, oops, this is still of f. So let's do that. The same color still. So now we're doing the third derivative of x. Oops, I, I forgot. I'm probably going to want to underline that in orange so you can see that that's um, what we have there. So this is equal to the derivative with respect to x of, and now this is, is this f double prime of x, right? f double prime, which is going to equal, so I have the derivative with respect to x of, and I can just put in is 12x. I take the derivative, and what do I get? I just get 12. Okay, and then you keep on going like that. So if I wanted the fifth derivative, I'd have to do that five times, okay? Um, and then I, get, I kind of want to put a warning here, because there's something that gets a little bit confusing to all of us. <clears throat> so this is going to be, this is like our warning which is it going to be that each, each of these is a function. So it's going to be a function until some x value, um, until some x value is subbed in to get a number. Okay, so until some x value is subbed in to get out a number. So to get out a number. And that's going to be very important for um, when we're doing things to realize. This is something that a lot of students get by confused by. I shouldn't just say students. I've done that before in my life too, is to not realize that um, when you um, are taking the derivative, Right, what you're getting out, even if this derivative is 12, what you're getting out is a function, um, and then you're going to stick in your value um, that your value uh, you're sticking in uh, an x value to get out a number. Okay, so I hope that made some sense, and I will see you in the, ne see you in the next lecture.